Rufus Rufus was a man holding a diamond. Why are we outside today? He walked to the green land, everything in pale. I don't know. They walked together. This land is fine today. The pond was wet with moisture and the grass was clean and smooth. He spotted some ducks at the edge of the pond, under the shadow of a large oak tree. The ducks were calm, swimming with each other, now going closer to the center of the pond. Why don't they have hair like me? He said. What do you mean? They walked past a large ant hill, ants swarming in their hive culture, so advanced and mature. Can I feel them? Yes, he said. The hands slowly lowered him into the hive hill, then placed him down. The ants adapted to him and started to form their culture around him. A little far away, a young boy and his dad emerged from out of a marsh boardwalk trail, entering this part of the park. As they walked further, the boy noticed him and was completely confused. What he saw, a simple, normally dressed man standing tall straight, looking nowhere. His hand carried what looked to be a duck with strange yellow locks abnormally glowing from its head, which he seemed to be placing inside a large anthill. The boy did not understand, so he asked his dad, What is he doing, dad? Why is he holding that duck? The dad looked at his boy with grace, with an infinite grin. Why, son, this is them. This is their path. This is the time, the moment. We are here. The duck and man began to look now towards the boy and his dad. We have reached this moment in time, and now they will stay. Among sand and time, we will go forwards. The duck and his holder were now one, shining bright no longer held to the earth. The boy did not understand what his dad was saying or what was happening, but he knew no harm would fall upon them, and it was soon to reach the end of the day. They walked away back towards home.